of the experiment is to trace the path of a ray of light passing through a rectangular glass slab for different angles of incidence and to measure the angle of refraction, the angle of emergence and interpret the results. The apparatus required to perform this experiment are a rectangular glass slab, a drawing board, a drawing paper, drawing pins, pins and a protractor. Let us now begin with the experiment. First, we shall fix the drawing paper on the drawing board with the help of drawing pins. Place the rectangular glass slab on it and mark its boundary with a sharp pencil. Now, remove the glass slab and using the protractor, draw a normal M1 N1 at the point O on the boundary. Draw a line AO making an angle of 30 degree with the normal M1 N1 using the protractor. This forms an angle of incidence I and ray AO is called incident ray. Fix pins P1 and P2 on ray AO such that the pins are vertical and well separated. Now, replace the glass slab properly in its original position. Observe the images of the bases of pins P1 and P2 through the glass slab from the opposite side and fix two pins P3 and P4 such that the bases of these pins are exactly in line with the images of the bases of pins P1 and P2. Now, remove the pins P3 and P4 and mark their positions by drawing small circles. Draw a straight line through points P3 and P4 using a scale. The ray BC is called emergent ray. Remove the glass slab and also remove the pins P1 and P2. Join OB. This ray is called refracted ray. Now, using the protractor, draw a normal M2N2 at point B. Now, using the protractor, let us measure the angle of refraction R made by ray OB with the normal M1N1 at point O and the angle of emergence E made by ray BC with the normal M2N2 at point B. The angle of refraction is 19 degree and the angle of emergence is 30 degree. Record the observations in the observation table. For an angle of incidence of 30 degree, angle of refraction is 19 degree and angle of emergence is 30 degree. Repeat the experiment for the angle of 45 degree as the angle of incidence and draw the path of the rays. Measure the angle of refraction R and the angle of emergence E using the protractor. For an angle of incidence of 45 degree, the angle of refraction R is 27 degree and the angle of emergence E is 45 degree. Now, repeat the experiment for one more angle of incidence of 60 degree and draw the path of the rays. Measure the angle of refraction R and the angle of emergence E using the protractor. For an angle of incidence of 60 degree, the angle of refraction R is 35 degree and the angle of emergence E is 60 degree. Inference The observed path of the ray for angle of incidence of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees is AOBC. 
The incident ray AO and the emergent ray BC are parallel to each other. The lateral shift is equal to CD. Note that this shift depends upon the thickness T of the glass slab, the refractive index of the glass and the angle of incidence. From this experiment we can infer that the angle of incidence I is equal to the angle of emergence E.